This is Ken from the NetBeans documentation team. In this screencast, I want to demonstrate some of the features in the IDE that can help you when you develop HTML5 applications. NetBeans IDE 7.3 introduces a new project type for HTML5 applications. In this screencast, I will show you how to create an HTML5 project in the IDE and edit the JavaScript and CSS in the editor. I will also show how the NetBeans connector extension for the Chrome browser can help you see how the application will be displayed on different devices. Before I create the application, I will install the NetBeans connector extension for the Chrome browser. The extension is available from the Chrome Web Store. If you do a search for NetBeans in the Web Store, you will find it in the Extensions tab. Just click Add to Chrome to install the extension. Now if you go to the Extensions page of your Chrome settings, you will see that the NetBeans extension is listed. You only need to do this once. After the extension is installed, the ID in the browser will be able to communicate. Now we'll create the HTML5 project. In the New Project Wizard, there is a new project type for HTML5 applications. In the wizard, you can choose to create a basically empty project or create a project based on a template. You can use a template on your local system or select from a list of popular templates that are available online. For this project, I will not use a template. In the JavaScript Files panel of the wizard, I can select the JavaScript libraries that I want to include in the project. This project uses a couple jQuery libraries to modify a list in a web page. I type jq in the filter field so that I limit the list to just the jQuery libraries. For this project, I want to use the jQuery and jQuery UI libraries. By default, the wizard displays the most recent version of the library first, but you can click in the version column to select other versions of the library. When I click Finish in the wizard, the IDE creates the project and opens index.html in the editor. The JavaScript libraries that I selected are automatically added to the project, and you can see them in the projects window. Now I check that the project is running correctly. I check that Chrome with NetBeans integration is selected in the toolbar and then click the Run button. The IDE automatically opens the application in the Chrome browser. In the browser window there is a yellow bar that shows that the IDE is communicating with the browser. Debugging is automatically enabled when you run the application. There is also a NetBeans icon in the URL bar. When you click the icon, a menu opens that lets you select a display device. When you select a device, the browser resizes to the dimensions of that device. I will select Tablet Portrait as the display size. So now I need to add some resources to the application. I will add some images and a style sheet to the application by copying the files from the desktop and pasting them into the application. The files need to go in the site root, which is the public HTML folder when you look at the project in the files window. The style sheet is a version of the style sheet that is used by jQuery for the widget we will use in the application. I now add links to the JavaScript files in index.html. I can use the code completion in the editor to help me type the path to the files. I add the links to the two JavaScript files. Now I paste some code into the file. This is a simple contact list. When I save the file, the page automatically reloads in the browser, and you can see the list as it appears without any CSS styling. The next task is to make this list look a little nicer by adding some basic CSS rules and also by using the jQuery accordion widget. So first I edit index.html to add some basic CSS rules. I will add them directly to the HTML file to show how the editor offers code completion for CSS. 
The IDE also has wizards that can help you add and modify CSS rules. When I save the file, the changes are immediately visible in the browser window. In the navigator window, you can see the elements that I added to the HTML file. Now I need to add a link to the jQuery stylesheet that I added earlier. Again, the code completion can help me when adding links to project resources. Now I will add some JavaScript to the HTML file to invoke the jQuery accordion widget. You can see that the code completion suggests using the jQuery ready handler for loading the function. The accordion script will modify the elements within the info list object. Now we just need to specify an object as info list by putting an ID selector on a div tag. I put the cursor in the div tag and then open the edit CSS rules dialog box. In the dialog box, I select ID and type info list as the selector. The preview field shows what will be added to the div element when the apply changes to the element option is selected. When I click OK, the ID and attribute are added to the element and a CSS rule for info list is automatically added to the style sheet. I save the file and you can see that the page in the browser is now displayed using the jQuery widget and style sheet. When I use the NetBeans menu to change the display size to a smartphone browser, you can see how the page will appear on that device. In the navigator window, you can see all the objects in the DOM tree, and you can navigate to the line in the source code where the object is defined. After the project is working, I can save the project as a site template. The template can be used to create another version of the project. In the wizard, I can choose what files are included in the site template. This simple demonstration showed some of the features available in the IDE for creating and developing HTML5 projects. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch our other screencasts about using NetBeans IDE to develop HTML5 applications.